Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a little reptile, a little reptile bearded dragon care video. Alright here, I have my bearded dragon, his name's Ran. He bud. And I'm keeping him in a 45 gallon tank, long. Um, okay, so I can get right into it. How to care for him, just got some, got a screen lid here. And uh... Light, I think this is a 125 watt light. I had to squish in the dome a little because it actually melted some of this plastic one time. So anyway, here I have Raymond. And he likes staying right under the heat lamp on this flat rock. I do have a black rock there. I think that's it's actually kind of cold. Maybe I'll move him, but... So after right now, I have a log just for atmosphere. A little water dish, like kind of a pond thing. He goes in that every now and then. Here I have his food dish. It's kind of... Old. I'm gonna clean that out right after this video actually because I put those put apples and things in there last night Gobbled it right up but Anyway um, to Keep the bearded dragon Once they get adult you're gonna want to have at least a 45 or actually that's a bit much maybe a 30 gallon would work too, but um if you want multiple, you could probably get away with two bearded dragons and one forty-five because they're very social and they're not too territorial against one another. But anyway, um, lighting, whenever that, this little thing on the side, it's just a tank heater. Uh, actually it's an under tank heater, but these guys don't need belly heat, they need top heat, so I just stuck it on the side. Just sends some nice little, makes it just a bit, tiny bit warmer. Uh, you're gonna want to keep the sand clean. Just have a little uh, sand sifter thing. Just kind of wave that around, get all the crap out of it. Put that in the garbage there. So that's always great. Um, again, this is just a little thing I do. Uh, every now and then, he'll take a big poo. I'll clean that up, and then I put some baking soda in it. That just really gets rid of the stink. It's not harmful to them. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, feeding. I should have some reptile calcium. And what you do with that is you can get some crickets, see if any are in there. Nope. Oh. I gotta go to the pet store soon. We got like no crickets. None in there. Well, maybe I have some mealworms. I don't know what anything is anymore. Just got back from a vacation. I don't even know what happened to these mealworms. They're all dead. Oh no. Well, you're not going to see me, but anyway. Um. What you, what you would basically do is just pop this open, stick a mealworm in there or something like that, give it a little shake, take them out, feed them to them, and beer dragon will be all happy. And that's a uh, basic, oh, wait, one more thing, substrate. I'm keeping mine just on regular sand, actually. Lots of people would say that's bad for them, it causes cause an impaction. Honestly, I don't care too much. I had a uh, substrate I was using was uh, kind of like bark mulch for a while. I had that till he was about the size he is now, and then I just changed it to sand. Uh, if he does end up eating the sand, like when he tries to get a cricket, what I'll do is I just kind of toss some reptile calcium, just kind of sprinkle it in, mix it all around. It's like a big soup of calcium. And now, now, that's it. Goodbye. Uh, and I'll see you in another video.